Meconium periorchitis is an unusual cause of a scrotal swelling in a neonate or a child up to around five years. The periorchitis is caused by organisation of the inflammatory response by meconium that has gained access to the tunica vaginalis through a patent processus vaginalis. This occurs when there has been an episode of meconium peritonitis caused by leak of meconium from the bowel, usually in the late fetal stage or early postnatally. This results in a scrotal mass of fibrotic calcified tissue. Histologically, meconium periorchitis is characterized by myxoid material containing histiocytes, lymphocytes and foreign body giant cells. There are areas of fibrosis, areas of calcification and lanugo hair fragments may be seen and also bile pigment may also be present. Before we look at an example of meconium periorchitis, this is a piece of small bowel from a baby that contains this greenish material and this is meconium. And if the bowel perforates, for example, due to obstruction, the meconium enters the abdominal cavity, causing a peritonitis. And over time, the meconium and inflammatory infiltrate will become organized into fibrous and calcified tissue. This is a low power view of meconium periorchitis. There are three features to recognize. At this power you can see the pink areas, that is the foci of fibrosis. The whitish areas are the pools of mucus or myxoid material from the meconium. And the purple areas are the foci of calcification. This is an area of calcification on higher power. And this area shows foci of microcalcification. These are the small purple nodules. Here are some pigment laden histiocytes, the pigment may be bile, and here is a foreign body type giant cell. So how do we know that this appearance is all caused by meconium? Well the clue is this hair shaft that is embedded in fibrous tissue and this is a fragment of lanugo hair from the fetus. Amniotic fluid is ingested in utero together with the lanugo hairs that pass through the gastrointestinal tract, eventually forming meconium.